Hello everyone. Welcome to Style 3D Atelier channel. In this lesson, we'll recommend some basic cloth physical property presets for everyone to facilitate selecting appropriate physical property more quickly when making cloth. Next, we'll use examples of shirt, hoodie, skirt, and pants to explain the commonly used fabrics for these basic clothes and recommend corresponding physical presets in the software. First, let's take a look at the shirt. We've listed three of the most common materials. They are pure cotton, cotton blend, polyester, and linen. And these materials correspond to the software's presets for cotton, polyester, and linen fabrics. We've also organized some commonly used presets and the presets with obvious changes for everyone. For a clearer view, let us move on to the software and demonstrate it to everyone. First, open the resource library. In the garment section, select the file female. Double click to add the shirt. Use the shortcut key 4 to quickly switch to the side view. Move the clothing back to ensure the cuffs wrap around the wrists. Then press the space bar to simulate. This is to prevent penetration. Due to exposure, details of the clothing might not be visible. You can turn off the cloth textured surface. This way, the clothing will appear in gray. Right click to hide the avatar. Then press 2 to center the clothing in the frame. To see more details, change the particle distance to 5. To make the folds finer, a way to change particle distance uniformly is just press Enter to confirm. Note that you need to change the simulation to simulate accurate for more precise simulation. After adjusting, you can change the physical property to presets. Let's see the effect. Click on Shirt Fabric. Go to the Physical Property section. Click the small triangle under Presets to make changes. First, let's look at the effect of cotton. For shirts, cotton stretch plane is quite common. You can see the fabric has many wrinkles. The wrinkles are also relatively stiff. Especially around the placket and chest, they are quite similar to the second image on the right. Next, let's take a look at the cotton twill. The wrinkles become more rounded. Suitable for thicker shirts. The dynamic effect is thicker compared to cotton stretch plain. Next, let's look at the cotton underscore tensil underscore twill underscore one. The fabric feels softer. And also the lightest. This is due to the minimal bend. This fabric is thinner than cotton underscore stretch underscore plane. We can go back to the cotton underscore stretch underscore plane to compare. You can see that the wrinkles become more rounded. Next, let's look at cotton underscore imitate tensil underscore poplin. Little difference compared to cotton underscore stretch underscore plane. The dynamic folds are similar to the texture of the second left shirt. After the cotton, let's take a look at polyester. First, let's start with polyester chiffon. Obviously this drapes better. The fabric is a bit thick under dynamic, leaning towards the texture of the left image, 1. Next, let's look at polyester underscore crepe 2. The fabric becomes lighter. It has better drape. More inclined towards the texture of the left image, too. Next, let's look at polyester underscore plane. He fabric becomes stiffer and thicker. To make the comparison clear, let's go back to polyester underscore chiffon to compare. Finally, crepe 2, chiffon, and plain can be recorded as polyester fabrics ranging from light to thick. Finally, let's take a look at linen. First, let's start with the linen underscore plane. The fabric has more wrinkles. Overall, it's thin and somewhat similar to cotton. There isn't much difference between the linen underscore cotton underscore plane and linen underscore plane. 
cotton underscore linen underscore plain and linen underscore silk underscore plain are similar. The wrinkles are delicate. The fabric is very thin and soft. That's all for the introduction of shirt fabric presets. Next, let's take a look at commonly used hoodie fabrics and recommended presets. Here only list two commonly used hoodie fabrics. Cotton fabric slash loop and lamb's wool slash plush. The corresponding presets in the software are knit and velvet. Below are some recommended presets. Let's go back to the software and take a look step by step. Similarly, start by adding the hoodie. Move the hoodie to ensure the cuffs don't penetrate. Adjust the particle distance. After adjusting, let's start by looking at the knitting category. First is knit underscore modal underscore single underscore jersey. You can clearly feel the fabric's lightness and softness. Suitable for light hoodie, like the second image on the left. Compared to knit underscore French underscore Terry underscore Twill, this is slightly thicker. The wrinkles are also more stiff. Knit underscore French underscore Terry 1 is somewhat similar to knit underscore French underscore Terry underscore Twill. Both of these are suitable for the hoodie on the left one. Finally, let's take a look at knit underscore French Terry 2. This preset is the thickest in hoodie. It can be used for thicker winter hoodies. Next, let's take a look at the velvet presets. Suitable for the fabric on the left one. Next is Sherpa underscore plain underscore fleece. This feels lighter. And there's cashmere like underscore plain underscore fleece. This preset feels heaviest. TS wrinkles are also more defined. That's the introduction to hoodie fabric presets. Now let's move on to the skirt. We've listed denim, yarn, velvet, cotton, knit, and linen. We've also captured screenshots of the corresponding recommended presets to share. Without further ado, let's go to the software and take a look one by one. Using the same method, here is the skirt, which instead of setting the relevant settings. However, to make the wrinkles more noticeable, you'll need to increase the weft shrinkage. Let's start by looking at the denim presets. The higher the preset number, the heavier the denim fabric. And the wrinkles are also thicker. Next, let's look at the yarn. There's cotton underscore boil. This kind of fabric is very thin, and the wrinkles are brittle. Then there's polyester organza. This fabric has minimal wrinkles, larger bends, and poorer drape. Next is silk. Pay attention to silk underscore crept underscore chine. This fabric has good drape and is soft. It's similar to the reference. Next, let's take a look at corduroy. In the velvet presets, 
There are three different corduroy presets. The higher the prefix number, the softer the fabric. The lower the number, the heavier the texture. 8 underscore corduroy is the thickest. It's suitable for the texture in the reference. Next, let's look at cotton. Similar to the previous shirts. You can refer to the recommended shirts. Of course, you can also try other presets for cotton. Test based on the desired fabric texture. Cotton wrinkles are relatively brittle. This preset is more suitable for the texture in the reference image. Next, let's take a look at knit. Knit underscore modal underscore single underscore jersey is familiar. It's a fabric with good drape, softness, and lightness. Suitable for soft knitted dresses. Of course, the skirt presets can also refer to the hoodie presets. Knit underscore tensil underscore jersey will create larger folds, matching the texture in the reference image. Not too many cotton presets are recommended. Everyone can try it out for yourself. Finally, let's take a look at linen presets. Similarly, you can refer to the recommended shirts for presets. Let's pick a few simple ones to look. Linen's folds will be more brittle and harder. Commonly used is cotton underscore linen underscore plain. This fabric has better drape compared to the first one. The folds still maintain hard and brittle. Finally, let's take a look at pants. Listed are jeans, nylon pants, leather pants, sport pants, suit pants and wide leg pants, and corresponding preset recommendations. Let's go back to the software and take a look. First, let's take a look at the jeans preset effect. You can see some wrinkles on the thighs. At the same time, the wrinkles are relatively stiff. This preset will be heavier on top of the shirt. Suitable for thicker jeans. Next are nylon pants. Before change, the preset increase the warp shrinkage of the front piece. Then switch to the nylon preset. You can see that the wrinkles in nylon underscore twill underscore 36G are very fine. The texture is also light and thin. As for nylon underscore twill underscore 123G, it will obviously be thicker than 36. The folds will be larger. But it still has a hard and crisp texture. Similar to the texture in the reference image. The bottom nylon preset is similar to nylon underscore twill underscore 36G. However, for nylon underscore stretch, there's a significant difference. It has good drape. The fabric is also soft. Next are leather pants. Switch to the leather preset. The wrinkles of leather underscore cowhide are thick and soft, suitable for leather fabrics with a sense of thickness and weight. Leather underscore lambskin is thinner and harder. Similar to the texture in the reference image. Lastly, let's look at PU. This fabric is slightly thinner than leather underscore cowhide. 
The wrinkles are slightly softer, compared to lambskin. Next up is sport pants. You can choose various presets under knit. To better see the effect of sport pants, reduce the warp shrinkage. This way, the fabric texture looks more like the reference image. A thicker air layer is suitable for winter sport pants. You can see that its wrinkles are relatively thick. Next is suit pants. For some high-end wool pants, you can choose wool presets. First, let's look at wool underscore pliester underscore worsted. It produces many crisp folds. Similarly, to see the effect of pants, you can reduce the weft shrinkage to 95. This way, you can see, there are many fine wrinkles on the thighs, similar to the texture in the reference image. Next, let's look at TR fabric. The texture becomes thicker noticeably. It can be applied to thicker suit pants. Finally, let's take a look at wide leg pants. You can choose silk fabrics. First, let's check the double pleats. Similarly, to better see the effect of wide leg pants, we will increase the shrinkage ratio weft. Then, let's look at the silk preset. First, silk underscore crept underscore chine is recommended. The fabric texture is relatively soft, the folds are softer. There's not much difference between the two, both can be used for silk wide leg pants. Next is the polyester preset. First, let's look polyester underscore starch underscore chiffon. This fabric is suitable for medium thick wide leg pants. Next, let's look at polyester underscore stretch underscore drept underscore chine. This preset is more suitable for thinner fabrics. Then, there's the lighter polyester underscore stretch. You can clearly see that the wrinkles are finer and soft. Finally, let's take a look at polyester underscore satin one. This fabric is the thinnest. The folds are also more brittle. That concludes the presets for pants. Finally, let's review the key points of this lesson. That's it guys, and I hope some of the tips will help your modeling work. If you like what we do, please liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in next video. Goodbye.